After three years, the record has finally been broken. The largest obsidian wall ever constructed on the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft is now 8.1 million blocks, all placed in survival. Not only is it over five times the size of the previous record, but it was designed in Minecraft's forbidden shape, a circle. It's so massive that additional render distance is needed just to see the curvature. The name of the project was Linked Horizon. More than 100 players joined forces to build this massive wall over the span of 125 days. With the project almost ending in disaster, it was saved only through the sheer perseverance of the builders. So I'm sure you're wondering, why would people dedicate so much time to claiming a record on a Minecraft server? It's 2B2T, are you surprised? Today we'll discuss the history of Project Linked Horizon from start to finish the challenges that were overcome, and why this project was so difficult to complete compared to previous builds on the server. The dedication that this community has never ceases to amaze me. If you love these stories as much as I do, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Alright, let's start from the beginning. It all started six months ago with a 2v2t player named Omega. He was a big fan of the anime Attack on Titan in which giant walls play a huge role in the story. He greatly enjoyed the aesthetics of the show, and so it inspired him to build a massive barrier of his own. He decided that breaking the record for the server's largest wall would be the perfect excuse to make one. He began planning the project and quickly realized how much work was needed if the record was going to be broken. The server's previous record was held by the Incursion Spawn Wall, which was built in 2018. This wall contained 1.6 million blocks of obsidian, and at the time of its construction, was the largest spawn structure ever built. But over the years, it slowly started falling into disrepair. It was littered with massive holes due to griefing, withers, and scavengers looking for extra obsidian. Despite the damage though, it still survived to the present day. Omega knew that if a larger wall were constructed, it could survive even longer. He decided to call his project Linked Horizon. He began announcing his plans to the community and put out a request for builders. He got in contact with a well-known player named Iron Exception, who would end up helping with the wall's design. You see, Omega originally wanted to build three different walls surrounding Spawn, all in the shape of circles. Jokingly referred to as Minecraft's forbidden shape, circles were chosen because they were more resource efficient compared to previous walls, which were all squares. Through his research, Iron had discovered that the farthest out a player could spawn when joining for the first time was around 2,000 blocks away from 0, zero. If the circular wall was larger than this, everyone in the overworld would spawn inside of it. Of the original three walls, the middle one coincidentally had a radius of about 2,000 blocks, meaning it was the perfect size, so the other two walls were abandoned. The middle wall would go from bedrock to build limit and be three to four obsidian blocks thick, making it more challenging to mine through. This would also give it a somewhat practical use for keeping new players trapped. Iron Exception had already constructed an obsidian ring road exactly 2,048 blocks away from spawn so this structure would become the outline for the linked horizon wall. With many builders assembled, the project was ready to proceed. Except, there was a problem. The wall would require 8.1 million blocks of obsidian, which was way more than any of the builders had. How were they going to acquire millions of them in such a short amount of time? The answer was to reach out to a 2B2T legend. They contacted Thebes and Sound, a longtime player on the server. He had been the mastermind behind the 2018 Obsidian Wall and was the founder of the Southern Canal, an obsidian waterway that stretched hundreds of thousands of blocks along 2B2T's southern axis. The Southern Canal Corps had millions of extra blocks of obsidian, so Thebes was willing to donate them to the Linked Horizon project. Now that they had enough obsidian, it was time to take the old record and completely demolish it. Construction officially started on January 7th, 
2021. During the first few days, Linked Horizon had its highest number of concurrent builders. Over 100 players would end up placing Obsidian in some capacity. Like most projects on the server, duped ender chests were the primary source of Obsidian. A camp was built near the wall's starting point, where ender chests were mined and Obsidian distributed. Advanced building techniques were introduced to the project thanks to members of the Highway Workers Union a group responsible for maintaining the server's roadways. They taught people how to mine e-chests faster than ever before. Using a hack client, it was possible to mine an e-chest and replace it at the exact same time. This allowed an entire inventory to be filled with obsidian very quickly. Scaffolding techniques were introduced by the union that allowed for vertical columns to be created with ease. Going from bedrock to build limit was quicker than ever before. Much of the obsidian placement could be somewhat automated thanks to baritone, but manual input was still needed in case there was water and lava or a builder fell off the wall. Many members regarded the first few weeks of the project as the most enjoyable. There was a true sense of community. But after just one month of construction, the wall would face a major problem, one that threatened the entire project. At this point, you're probably guessing it was griefing or sabotage, right? The reality is that it was something far more sinister. Boredom. After one month of non-stop construction, the wall was only 25% completed. Many of the builders had slowly realized just how massive an 8.1 million obsidian wall actually was and quietly began leaving the project. Those that stayed ramped up the construction to make up for the lost builders. But the problem only got worse. Other obsidian projects that were developed alongside the wall were starting to take shape and required far less obsidian. These projects would pull even more builders away from the linked horizon, as they were considered more exciting to be a part of. By early March, with the wall only 50% complete, the amount of active builders had dropped from 100 to only 3. Futsin, Pyru, and Batako, who had all been with the project since the start, were the only ones dedicated enough to continue working on it. They had already been the top 3 builders for the first 2 months, placing more obsidian than any other players. They realized that between the 3 of them, over 4 million obsidian was still needed for completion. In their shoes, most players would have given up entirely and deemed the project a failure, but their resolve was unbreakable, and they vowed to complete the wall, no matter how long it took. They increased their obsidian output to absolutely insane levels. They were working such long hours that according to their data, there was actually a slight increase in the rate of construction, despite only being three of them. They would take turns working around the clock for the next two months, mining their own obsidian and then placing it in an endless cycle of madness. Regular Minecrafters would have been broken, but 2B2T players are built different. Batacope would place over 1 million obsidian, Futsin would place almost 2.5 million, and Pyru single-handedly placed over 3 million. According to their data, over 81% of the wall was completed by just the three of them, with the last 19% being distributed among the other 97 builders. I cannot stress enough just how impressive this actually is. The wall had grown so big that it was now larger than the 2018 wall, the giant Awu, and the giant Pecora all combined. Some of the builders that had gone inactive saw that the project was still coming along and slowly began returning. On May 12, 125 days after construction began, the wall was finally completed, shattering the old record by over 6.5 million obsidian. A party was held as the final block was placed. While Omega was the mastermind behind Linked Horizon and over 100 players contributed, the last trio of builders were the true reason the project succeeded. They faced not griefers, but their own internal struggles, and they came out victorious. The only question now is will a record like this ever be topped? Only time will tell. 
If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button. Also follow my socials, but that's it. So take it easy, FitFam, and stay alive out there.